CataractCoach.com, should you massage the intumescent lens? Well, you know, the goal is to mobilize the liquefied lens cortex. So you can see this case here, tripan blue dye, intumescent lens. And now going inside the eye, looks like with some viscoelastic. And here's the massaging. Now, what's the purpose? Remember, liquefied lens cortex is not only in front of the nucleus, it's also behind the nucleus. So in previous videos, which you've got to look up on cataractcoach.com, I've showed you how when you start doing this rexus or the baby rexus or the needle aspiration, you go inside and you rock the nucleus. Well, this is just rocking the nucleus ahead of time before an opening. So you can free up any loculated pockets of liquefied lens cortex because that can cause pressure behind the lens nucleus. So once that's done, that little bit of massage, now you've spread around the fluid and hopefully released the tendency for an Argentine flag sign or that posterior pressure to pull things forward or push things forward. So now let's take a look here, getting this Rex is done. And we'll show you three different cases here of this today. And we'll go through all three of them. So here, it looks pretty good. Now in this case, fortunately, a nice massage, but there's really not a lot of lens milk coming out. There's very little lens milk being ex expressed or coming out. So maybe this was an easier one, but we'll show you a couple of more that have more pronounced lens milk. So beautiful Rex is there. Very nice. At this point, of course, the rest of the case is the same. Now, importantly, don't do aggressive hydrodissection. Be cautious. Very little, if any. This nucleus often and most times will spin on its own anyway with zero hydrodissection. Because remember, the lens cortex has all been liquefied already. I like that recoat of endothelium by, with the viscoelastic. That's a smart move. And now probably let me just guess. Faco chop. Yeah, good job. Nice chopper there. Maybe a vertical chop. Combo chop. Plumbing of that nature. Going with the Faco probe here. I like the incision too, by the way. Okay, maybe a stop and chop. Oh, no, maybe chop. There you go. Let's go to the next case. Here's another one. Intumescent white cataracts and tripan blue dye going in. And then again, a lens massage. So again, the idea behind the lens massage is with the closed bag, you haven't opened the capsule bag yet, just to make sure there are no loculated pockets or pressure-filled areas behind the nucleus. So we can kind of do the effect of rocking that nucleus that we've talked about before, and you can do that and achieve that here before ever opening the lens capsule. So now a little bit of uh, probably anesthetic or BSS just to dilute that down, and let's see how we're going to continue here. So here's the incision, here's the viscoelastic. Yeah, the longer you leave the blue dye on, the better the stain. Here's the massaging. Oh, I can see the lens milk now. So there's obviously a lot of lens milk underneath there. And I like the effect there, not only massaging it, but kind of pushing some of that fluid out away from the center. That's probably a smart move. So instead of having it all locked in or ca captured there in the center, un right under the anterior lens capsule, you push it out to the periphery so you can help flatten out that central lens capsule. One of the big dangers is if you have a very domed shape anterior central lens capsule, that's more likely to run out. So there you go, Rex is completed, and now you can get that out of the eye and finish up. Here's another one, I can tell, you can see the clefts here. So going inside here, there we go, loculated fluid, pushing that around. You can see there's definitely some fluid there, definitely. And pushing that around, good job. So now you've pushed it away from the center, and now the center is flattened out. That's a smart move here. And so maybe this is even just pushing it from the center of the anterior subcapsular space to the peripheral, or maybe closer to the equator space. And now you can go in. You still may want to do a needle decompression of these cases, even though you do this massage here. So going inside here, let's see. More viscoelastic, okay, I like that idea. And now needle decompression. Okay, no, it's just a tome. Fair enough, starting the rexus. And looks like a, is a little milk coming out, maybe. Oh, double rexus technique. I like a baby rexus. Hey, I, I like it. Double rexus is a great idea. That's where you're going to make one small rexus right off the bat quickly and do that so that you have a nice, round, intact space or opening so that it's not going to run out. And now you can really decompress. So finish that. Just pull. It doesn't have to be perfect. Don't worry. Just get it done. There it is. Get it done. Don't, don't worry. There we go. Beautiful. Now, now get the IA probe if you want. Put it in there or the FACO probe and suck out a lot of that liquefied lens material. And that'll really decompress the bag. Then you can do the second normal size Rexus 
and have a really nice result. So very nicely done. Yeah, I don't think you're going to do chop through this. I hope you're just going to put the probe in here and vacuum, right? Yeah, just vacuum all that stuff out. Good, 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 good. Decompress. Decompress. I like it. I like the circular movement even. I'd tap and rock the nucleus. Good. Rotating the nucleus even better. Good idea. Really nice. Get that cleaned up. Pretty good. And now at this point would be reasonable. Put in more viscoelastic. I think this case is using HPMC hydroxypropylmethylcellulose. Available in the USA is Ocucote from Bauchalam. And um, that's a very nice because it's cheap. It's made of uh, plant material, not rooster combs. And now it looks like some micro scissors going inside to get a little snip here of the capsule. There we go. And now the second big Rex is done. So, hey, good question. Hey, everyone loves a massage. Who doesn't? Even I like a massage. But should you massage the lens capsule? You know, I think it's a neat idea. I don't think there's a downside to it. And the next time I have an intumescent case like this, I may want to consider that. Just to push the fluid out towards the periphery to flatten that central lens capsule. Thanks for sending the video in. Appreciate it.